Outrage continues a week after students were assaulted on Ackerman Avenue. Student Association President Gufran Salih says communication is everything. An incident like this shows us that there needs to be communication. There wasn't communication between the student body and DPS in this matter. That's why there was a lot of misunderstanding about whose jurisdiction this is or, or how DPS can like um, put a term on this incident. On Monday, a forum on public safety and student life will be held to discuss the incident. And the Syracuse Airport announced new non-stop flights. United Airlines will begin non-stop service to Denver on June 6. Uh, giving our community opportunities to see one of the growing regions, one of the growing cities uh, in Denver, and also giving folks in Denver an opportunity to see uh, what our community has to offer. Meanwhile, tech giant Amazon has canceled its plans to build their second headquarters in New York City. This comes following backlash from lawmakers and community members. A gunman opened fire at a manufacturing business yesterday afternoon. The gunman killed five workers and left six injured five of which were police officers. The shooter, Gary Martin, was being let go from his job, according to police. And out of Washington, a shutdown averted. Lawmakers reached a deal to keep the government open, but the president responded with a plan of his own. I'm going to be signing a national emergency. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs. One of the most prominent drug traffickers, Joaquin Guzman, otherwise known as El Chapo, was convicted of multiple federal charges. Today's verdict is a victory for law enforcement. But more importantly than that, today's verdict is justice. It's justice for the many thousands upon thousands of victims of overdose. And this has been your Morning Brew.